Hi there, welcome to this Prospect CRM video on how to build your Word quote tables. Within the CRM, you can set up a quote table for your Word quote templates. You can choose what Word table style the quote table should output to, and the columns that appear within the table, such as price, description, or discount. Please note you will need CRM admin rights in order to follow the steps in this video. Firstly, you'll need to choose the table style that you wish to use for the quote table. You can find these within Word by navigating to the Table Tools and then going to the Styling section and choosing the Modify Table Style. And within here you have a range of different styles that you can base a table on. And all of these can be used within the Prospect CRM to output the quote table. So for example, if you've chosen this particular style, it will then give you a preview of it just below. Once you have chosen your table style, you'll then need to navigate back to the CRM and find the quote table configuration window. You can do so by searching for quote table within the settings center. Once here, you can then click on the plus button to add a new quote table. Within here, you can then start filling out information about your new quote table. The first bit of information that you need to add in is the description. So that should describe the new quote table that you're adding. So maybe this is going to be used on your B2B quote template. So maybe you'll call it B2B quote table. You can then input your table style. So if you did want to use a particular word table style, just pop the name in here. You'll then need to choose what table type this is going to be. So you'll need to create two different quote tables. One is the lines quote table and then the second is the totals. The one that we're going to create first is the lines. Once happy with your options, click create and that will then add the new quote table to the window for you. There it is right at the top for us. If we click on the pencil icon, there are a few more things that we can configure for this quote table. So if I just scroll down to the field section, we have all of the different available fields that we could have as columns within the quote table, such as the product SKU, the description, the unit price, the quantity, etc. So you have lots to choose from and you can add the ones that are specific to your business. You can also give these columns different names. So for example, if you wanted to change the header of the quantity column, you could put QTY in, for example, if you rather abbreviate it. You've also got some um, other pricing fields, such as whether you want to show the VAT percentage, uh, maybe the tax value as well per line. So you have lots of different options. You just need to tick on the ones that you wish to use. Once you've done that, if you just click out, your, savers will, your changes will be then be saved and you'll then be able to use this quote table within your Word document template. Before we come on to how we actually add this to the Word template, let's just have a look how we add in a totals quote table as well. To do so, click on the plus button again and this time we're going to give it a description of B2B totals table instead. Again, you can give your totals table a style using one of those word styles. And then the table type that we're going to select here will be totals. Once we're happy with that information, if we then click create, that will then add in our B2B totals table. And again, if we click on the pencil icon for this, we'll have some further configuration options that we can choose. This includes what fields we would like to include in the totals table. So for example, do you want to include the delivery charge? Would you like to include the tax value? Or are you just going to include the net quotes total? Or maybe all of them. It's completely up to you. And again, you can just tick the ones that you wish to add in. And you can also change the name of them by giving it a new uh, label just here. Again, once you are happy with your totals table, just click out of it and any changes that you have been making will then be saved. Now, the code that you'll need to add to your Word quote document will just be in the setting center for you. So just here, you can see the search and place field that you need, an example one, which is quote semicolon table dot B2B underscore X. So this bit here is going to be specific to the quote table that you wish to add. So if we just go back to our quote tables list, you'll see that each of these quote tables have a code, a unique code. 
So the one that we have added in, for example, is the B2B quote table. So this unique code here will be what we add to that search and place field. So if I just go back, so we would have quote semicolon table dot eight five oh one three five or whatever it was. And that would be the, the search and place field that you then need to add in to your document template.